very few things in history are black and white, a lot of it is gray. And that includes the Civil War, who was actually fighting for states' rights. States' rights to do what? Excuse me, sir? States' rights to do what? What did you want to use those rights for? You usually don't mention that part. I want to hear it. I wonder what you want to do with them. Well, uh, the, the Confederacy didn't want to be oppressed by the North. Really? What were they preventing you from doing? What did they not want you to do? Listen, my friend, there was more to it than slavery for why we made the Confederacy. That is really, really interesting because the guy who made the Confederacy, the vice president, said that it was because they wanted to have slavery and all the state constitutions said they wanted to have slavery and they seceded at the moment that the president got elected that was going to abolish slavery. Boy, the Confederacy sure looks slavery adjacent, at least. Now, anyway, states' rights do what? You're ignoring our other concerns. Yeah, but among the concerns was slavery, so I don't care because you deserve it because you're evil. And slavery is evil. That's a very- you should know this. By the way, could you answer my question, you fucking traitor? States rise to do what? Well, it's our heritage. It lasted five years. The Annoying Orange has existed longer than the Confederacy did. The fucking Annoying Orange, dude. You're gonna celebrate a nation so fucking weak the Annoying Orange outlived it. We're, we're staying strive. Get Douglas. Ah! Each Dixie boy must understand that he must find his Uncle Sam away. 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 We'll all go down to Dixie.